Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm very excited to share with you this brand new model IDFX3 8 billion which is based on Llama 3.1 from Hugging Face itself. I already have covered IDFX previous version on my channel. If you're interested, please check them out. I have, I think I did around five to six videos in the last few months and the model was of very good quality. And that is why I'm so excited to see that Llama 3.1, which is already a premier model in 8 billion and 70 billion category. Now it has been merged with this IDFX 3, which is a multi-model model, and I can't wait to see its performance. So IDFX 3 is an open multi-model model that accepts arbitrary sequences of image and text inputs and produces text outputs. The model can answer questions about images, describe visual content, create stories grounded on multiple images or simply behave as a pure language model without visual inputs. It improves upon IDFX1 and IDFX2 and it has significantly enhanced the capabilities around OCR, document understanding and visual reasoning. And we are going to check it out after installing it locally on various benchmarks. We will be using few images to see how this thing works. Now, this comes under Apache 2 license, which is awesome. It only supports English at the moment. It, it is multimodal, which means it works with both images and text. And mostly it also goes with interleaving. And there are a lot of use cases which you can use for it. For example, text and images can be arbitrarily interleaved. That includes image captioning, visual uh, question answering or VQA. Uh, but you cannot generate images uh, with this uh, model. That is one thing you need to be aware of. The post training of IDFX 3 8 billion involves only a supervised fine tuning stage without reinforcement learning with human feedback alignment. As a result, the model may produce short answers or require prompt iterations to fully address the user's request. So you don't expect it to write stories about stories as a response. Okay, um, and another lastly cool thing is that you can fine tune this ID fix 38 billion on your own specific task and um, I already have done videos around how to fine tune these image models. So please search the channel. Okay, so that's said and done. Let's get it installed locally. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to install or rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Let me quickly show you my system, which is Ubuntu 22.04. And my GPU is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a Conda environment to keep everything separate and simple. Shouldn't take too long. Let's install PyTorch, which is always needed. I'm just going to, sorry, I think it's just double pasted here. So this is going to install Torch for us. So let's wait for it. This takes a minute or so. That is done. Let me clear the screen. Now we would need to install transformers, but as this model is so new, I think just few hours old, it hasn't been supported by the actual PyPy version of transformer. So we need to install it from a specific branch of transformer. So let me first git clone the transformers repo and then we would do the checkout of the branch. Let's wait for it to finish. Should not take too long now. That is done. Let's check out this branch. Okay, so let me quickly pull this. So you see that I have just pulled the branch from the remote repo. And then I have checked it out. And now let's install um, all the re requirements in with the uh, pip e and e flag installs the library in the editable mode which allows you to use the locally modified version instead of the remote. So these are the just the Git terminologies where we have this origin and we have the remote one. So let me install it. And it is going to install all the dependencies. So let's wait for it to finish. 
that's done let me clear the screen here okay and by the way if you want to see the version of the transformers now simply run this command and you will see that now it is on the development one dev zero let's also install accelerate torch vision and torch audio because we are dealing with multimodal here and that is all done let's install our jupyter notebook and launch it so that we could download the model and play with it in the notebook environment in the browser and our notebook is launched let's import the libraries which we have just installed which includes pillow and by the way when you install it from the source it all uh, by default installs the pillow on the local system and then i am importing some of the other stuff from transformers and i am setting my device to cuda that is my gpu and now let's use the thugging face auto processor to download the model and the tokenizer and then we are putting it on to the CUDA device and it has started downloading the model so let's wait for it to get downloaded you can see that it has around four shards which should be good for my GPU let's wait for it to finish and the model is downloaded as you can see and it is also loaded on my GPU next up let's define some of the images and then a prompt template so these are the images which are already present on my local system and let me quickly show you so i'm just going to go into the images directory on my local system so this is my home directory and then this is images and you can see that this is the one of them which i just checked and then similarly there are few others which i will shortly show you so i'm just going to use these images and then there is one image for ocr which i will use later i am storing them in these variable one to three and this is a prompt template which is required by the model where this is a user which is just uh, giving it as an example and then asking a question about the image so let me run it and that is done and now let's pass it on to tokenizer and to our model so what this code is doing it is applying the chat template onto the message which i have posted above then it is sending this uh, tokenizing this text and sending it to model after putting it onto chip gpu model is generating the output and then processor is decoding it with the help of tokenizer and we giving at the result back so what we are asking it how about this image and we are passing it image one and image two so let me run it and the model has printed the response so you see this is where uh, this response starts that image depicts a large monitor lizard specifically a komodo dragon so if i scroll down i just also printed this image too so this is a komodo dragon and you can see that it has really described all the details like indicating a semi-arid or tropical environment the komodo dragon is standing on all fours with its legs spread wide giving it a formidable uh, experience its tail is long and slender and then blah 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 so really good stuff and then you see it is talking about uh, komodo dragon where it is found and all that stuff amazing stuff okay now let's check out the ocr capabilities and for the ocr what i'm doing i'm just using this image and the purpose it is, is to see if the model is able to identify these characters plus there are few words in german french so let's see if model is able to detect that so i already have started this let's wait for it to come back and there is the raw output it's not very well format formatted but that is fine in the production environment we can always uh, massage it and grab the value of this assistant so you see it is telling us that the image contains a block of text that appears to be a mix of english and german and then the text is written in somewhat informal style it seems to be discussing various topics including spam email and a special characters yes that is correct and then it is a mix of english and german with some french and spanish phrases yes that is correct and then it has even identified some of the special characters and that's this dollar figure that is cool so you see the ocr is also quite good so you can definitely use this model for ocr so all in all very impressed by the model i think it uh, brings in the quality of the idfx models plus it also brings in the intelligence of 
the LLM Llama 3.1 which is awesome. I will drop the link to it in video description where the code is also available. The only thing you would need to change is the way I did the pull and I installed the transformers from the source with that pull branch. That is all you need to do. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.